everybody, Lisa here. Welcome back to my channel and welcome to my May 2019 Witch's Moon unboxing. So this is probably my favorite thing in the world to unbox. So come along with me for the journey. I have a steak knife. It is currently in the lap of my cheer bear. Here, evidence. Cheer bear, steak knife. <laughs> because you need a steak knife to open some of the plastic, right? So yeah. Okay, that seems creepy now. We're gonna put you over here. <laughs> okay, I'm apparently in a mood. It's possibly the venti mocha frappuccino. Possibly. There's a little bit left, so you know I'm well and truly caffeinated, but also hydrated. Hydration is important. Just saying. I have to tell you before I open this, because the suspense is seriously real. Unboxings are going up left and right of this box. Instagram posts are happening. I'm trying so hard to avoid it all. <laughs> and it is because I am so, so excited for the theme of this month's box. Look, my hands are wet for my frappuccino. <laughs> um, but it is the Adorned Goddess box. When they announced this theme, I was like, and it's been so hard. In fact, there's been a couple lives that have gone up that I've missed because they were unboxing this box. And I'm like, I don't want spoilers. I want to be surprised. <laughs> So I'm going to be surprised. Come be surprised with me. You're probably not surprised because you've probably seen other unboxings if you're looking at this. But for me, it's new. Oh, I'm babbly. This is going to be a good one. We'll see how it goes. <laughs> I've got to get right into it. I've already taken the outer box off. So if you've never had, um, if you've never gotten this box, it comes in a discreet outer shipping box and then you get this beautiful box. And these boxes are sturdy enough to be repurposed. I do hold on to a few at a time in case I can find a purpose for them before I recycle them. Oh, okay, I'm already excited because I can tell by the backing that the Oracle card, I haven't looked at the front yet, is from the Oracle of the Unicorns, which is one of my favorite Oracle decks. What did I get? Past lives. Release your past life karma. You are an old soul with deep wisdom. Healing your past lives will raise your vibration. Pretty. This deck is beautiful. I actually looked at flip throughs of this deck and decided I was going to get it because I thought it was going to be too cheesy and all the artwork is by different um, artists. But then I held it in my hand and it's super glossy but it, and then borderless but it has this feeling like you're holding like photographs almost. It's kind of hard to describe but I just I really loved it once I had it in my hands and it is beautiful. So I'm excited to have an extra card that I can use as an altar card. That is awesome. I just realized my Care Bear is in the way. <laughs> Here hold my steak knife. We get a parchment, ooh, the parchment paper feels different this month. It feels like smoother. Hmm, I might have to play with that with some pens. So I'm gonna flip it all over so that I don't see all the spoilers. Oh, they even folded it like perfectly to hide the spoilers. Now, Witch's Moon, if you are watching this, well done on the folding because it literally stops on the fold when it says the box contains as follows and everything else is behind the fold. Good job, because that's usually how I fold it anyways. <clears throat> the largest obstacle to overcome along our path is the self-doubt and negative thought patterns that tend to cripple progress and opportunity. Oh, you guys. Just based <laughs> on that first sentence, y'all know this is going to be my jam. Sorry, I'm go I'm This is going to be my jam. Is this a like a self-worth, self-love themed box? You guys. Okay, I'm going to keep reading. The practice of harnessing strength and power within our rituals is a key ingredient to living a truly full life captured by beauty, love, passion, and divine connection. These intentions are not intended to be used when you are feeling stagnant, but rather as a daily constant effort. As we work towards self-love and empowerment, our spiritual representation of ourselves develops into a powerful force, demanding the outcomes of manifestations to react accordingly. This headspace will be a working factor in your spiritual growth and development and allows you to pull energy from within. The confidence that can be gained from working with these tools, oh my god, sorry, <laughs> will leave a lasting effect on how the physical world reacts to you, as well as the potency of your spell workings and rituals. We have been working to source and create the items in this collection over many moons and send with them the intention of empowering the adorned goddess within. The magical items in this box are as follows. Okay, clearly this is a self-love themed box. If I've understood the intro correctly, you guys know I am all in for this. 
so excited. Okay, I better set that aside. Because <clears throat> you know I'll need to refer to it later. So we got our Oracle card. There is a sigil. This is cool. And I want to look this up, but I will look it up in a minute because I don't want to accidentally spoil. It's a very loud vehicle in the background. I'm sorry. Um, I have my window open because incense is still coughing, so I miss the incense. But also I don't want to cough. Sorry, I had to check on my candle because it looked funky in the... We're good. We're good. I'm a little squirrely because I'm excited about this box. And when I get excited, I get extra squirrely. So just forgive me now, if you please, for all the squirreliness that is likely to follow. Sigil. Probably a self-love or self-worth themed. I'll look it up in a minute. <clears throat> the spell is by itself, which tells me we're probably getting candles again, maybe. Because last time they sent the spell separately, we got a set of two spiral hand-rolled beeswax candles instead of one thicker rolled beeswax candle. So this spell is awake. Oh, I can't wait. And the paper does feel a little bit thinner. Smooth, but thinner. Oh, I was going to check that on this too. Let me pull a bl blank parchment. Yeah, it's like smoother, less parchment feeling this month. It's cool. It's cool. I still use it. Okay. Ooh, we got artwork. The artwork is Aphrodite. Okay, so little story for you guys. I don't think I've told it on my channel before, actually. Um, Aphrodite was the first matron goddess that I consciously worked with. Um, sort of an I chose her, not she chose me kind of deal. So it was when I was still like a little baby witch. But I worked with Aphrodite for quite a while. And I was given a nickname in the community that I was circling with at the time of Lisa the Little Love Goddess. Because I was doing love, love goddess kind of work. Um, I've been a fluffy little witchy marshmallow for my whole witchy life. I'm just saying. <laughs> My work is a lot more badass than people realize now, but still, kind of a fluffy marshmallow, aka cheer bear holding my steak knife. I'm just saying that's kind of me in a nutshell. Anyways, I'm really excited to dig into this. And there, these artworks usually have tons of great info, and I actually got a laminating machine, laminator, on Amazon for really inexpensive. Um, I think it was like 20 bucks, <laughs> and a box of laminating sheets, so I like to laminate these when they come in so that I can hang them on my wall or just put them in my book of shadows but I really am excited because this is chock full of info so I got that and then we've got this like light pink very pale pink kind of paper so I'm just gonna turn that back and then I will hold it up to you so you can see what I see that's what I see so there's something real big in there all wrapped up in bubble wrap and the thing that's on the very top ooh. Yay! Okay, sorry. A uh, little baggie of jasmine buds. This is actually really exciting because I don't have a lot of floral buds in my herbal apothecary right now. And I was really struggling actually when I wanted to make a aphrodisiac y, romance -y kind of oil, which, by the way, a little mini update, did not turn out at all how I wanted it to. So I'm going to be redoing that one. But I will put in the cards a link to the video of me improvising with what I had. But Having some flower buds would have been beautiful for that oil. So I think I'm going to make a new um, lovey kind of oil soon. So this will be good. Some jasmine. Some rose, which I was actually looking for. This is a little bit crushed up, but I don't really care, you guys, because when I use um, herbs, I usually am using them for the energetic properties, and I'm usually putting them in small bottles or rollers. So, yeah, that's totally fine with me. <clears throat> And some raspberry leaf. And I believe this is another herb that was on my list to work with some more. So that's exciting. And what I do with these, um, I'm probably going to make a video about it at some point. But what I do with these is I get little glass vials. And when my box is still, uh, when it's new to me, so I haven't had, when it's, let me back up. I take the herb, I put it in a glass vial, and then I peel off this sticker and put it on the glass vial. And as long as you don't sit on these for too long... They usually come up pretty easily, and then you can just use the same labels, but I have found that if you wait too long, they don't come up as well. So if you want to repackage your herbs out of the baggies, and then these, these are nice thick baggies that you can reuse for other things. See, I told you I was going to be a squirrel, and we're only the first, we're only into the herbs so far. So that's exciting. Also, I'm noticing that they have slightly altered the writing style because it's definitely much easier to read than it used to be when I was first getting the box. So I think they've probably taken some feedback into, I know a few of us have struggled <laughs> during unboxings with figuring that out. <clears throat> okay, I'm going to go for the salts because that was the next thing I spotted. 
Litha! Yay! Okay, so Summer Solstice is coming up in June, and I'm excited that they put this in the May box, not the June box. So I have it well in advance. Hmm, this smells really good. I feel like... I'm so bad at identifying smells. I'm getting kind of a cross between a very light herbal, a very light floral, and possibly a little bit of light citrus. But the citrus isn't at the front. It's like in the back. Does that make sense? Look at me trying to sound fancy. It smells real good. I'll read you the write-up when, when I'm past all the surprises. <clears throat> okay, next up, I'm going to save the biggest thing for last. Ah, I think I was right because look at that shape. So I'm pretty sure we have here a set of two. I'm going to just use my steak knife here. Don't try this at home, children. I'm not great with knives. I don't know why I grab a steak knife. It's probably really dumb. Um, ooh, okay, so this one has been rolled in herbs because there's some loose herbs. Cool thing about beeswax, though, is that it's very soft. So it's the perfect candle. Like these rolled beeswax candles are actually really perfect for rolling in herbs because the herbs, you can actually hand press them into the wax and they actually stay. So these are our set of two candles. I've got my um, one of my set of two from last month burning now. And what's interesting is that these double candles don't seem to burn that much faster than the wider ones. You can tell that these use a little bit less of the beeswax, <clears throat> but I'm getting two instead of one, which is actually really brilliant. So I'm kind of hoping they stick with the doubles because I feel like I get m more burn time overall out of two of these slightly smaller tapered ones than the one big one that I was getting. So that's exciting. I have two more and I've still got one from last month because I wasn't burning for a few weeks when I was ill. So <laughs> that's exciting. I should be good on those for a little bit. Oh, okay. Try not to make a mess on my bed. Oh, do you hear the doggies? Peggy just probably asked them if they want some food or something because they're now going crazy. Okay, I'm just digging, trying to avoid the big thing. Okay, this feels like my oil. <coughs> So these come in bubble wrap. Me and my big knife. Don't try this at home, children's. I just want to cut through like the tapey part. So let's see. Okay, cut away from me. It's also smart. Ooh. Oh, I think Peggy sneezed. She's like, excuse me. I'm like, I didn't hear her sneeze. I'm probably so used to tuning it out. Okay. This one looks like it's in a more clear bottle. Ooh, this is so pretty. I'm such a dork. Uh, oh, it's an Aphrodite oil, but look at all the flowers. And it's in a cl more clear bottle, so you can really see them all moving around in there. I love it when you can see the organics in the oils. It makes me so freaking happy. Um, this looks like it might be... Do I have another one handy? No, it looks like it might be smaller. No, I think I'm making that up. <clears throat> Let's see how it smells. Oh, yeah, I feel like this is maybe smaller. This smells, oh my God, there's something so familiar in there. It's not as sweet as I think I was thinking it was going to be because we've had some sweet oils. Mm, it's got like almost like a perfumey, but not like a old lady perfumey. Please love me, even though I just said old lady perfumey on my channel. Um, but it does. It smells really nice. I have to read the write-up about it to place the scents, but it, there's something familiar in here, and then there's something that's not familiar. So how's that for helpful? Aphrodite oil, though. And again, I definitely do find the labels easier to read. And I think it's because they're using more capitals. Oh, look at my chipped nail polish. Like, the worst. Manicure is not lasting this week. Oh, my God. Okay, I'm trying not to look at the big thing, and it's kind of... Okay. Got our incense. Ooh, it's, this one's like spicier than what we've been getting. Yeah, it, got my no it made my nose itchy. <clears throat> so we got, again, I think one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight sticks. And I just burned my last one from last month, and that's in spite of being ill. So I did good with using up my incense. I usually go through these, and then once these are done, then I get to use more of my other incenses. But, okay. I feel like all that's left is this gigantic thing in here, and I'm, yeah, oh, that's interesting. So there wasn't a separate bag. 
I'm just going to dig in my worms here, my paper worms. There was not an extra crystal. That's interesting. Okay. Usually we get a little baggie with a crystal. So this is... I might be about to freak out. Hold on, I'm going to have a beverage. Because <clears throat> I think I just realized what I was holding. Like, I'm actually about to freak out a little bit. What is it with the witch's moon? I mean, sorry, I have to itch my nose. I'm freaking out. How do they come up with these creations? Every single dang box has something unique I've never seen before. And I mean, I've been around the witchy circles for like a long time. But how? I want to know. But whatever they're doing, they need to keep doing it. Because holy crap. It's like a shell. I don't know if it's a real shell. Or if it's just like a painted box that looks like a... Oh, what is happening under here? Is this not the most gorgeous thing you've ever seen? I think this is a box. <gasps> There's something in it. I am such a dork. I'm so glad I filmed these because when I haven't seen them yet, because I cannot make this up. I am such a dork on my channel. All right. Look though. Actually. Are you kidding? Look at that. It's like something mother of pearl. But it's, it's obviously set in like a resin or I don't know what and how, but it's beautiful. It opens. Oh, are you, it opens like a shell. I haven't even looked at what's in it because I'm so busy looking at the box. Okay. <clears throat> I'm going to open it this way so we can be surprised together. Look at this. Is this a real, like, sorry, there's a bag in here. I'm just gonna stare at you on camera and and oh my god don't drop anything okay so first of all the inside feels kind of um soft and velvety and this is surely big enough for a tarot deck and I have a mermaid tarot that might have to live in here like inside it's Peggy bag of course but then in here I don't know oh my god this is beautiful and it like opens and closes really easy the inside is like this very thin but lined velvet like it doesn't feel super sturdy if that makes any sense like it's definitely a delicate item it's not something you want to bang around but like I wouldn't put this in like a suitcase and go traveling with it but for something to sit on my ocean themed altar behind me perhaps <laughs> and hold something special this is oh there's a fuzzy this is incredible okay the thing in here feels like beets I think this is jewelry. Okay. Satin bag. Let's discover it together. <laughs> it's not one of my videos but I don't drop it. Okay. <clears throat> Back to the bag. I dropped the bag. Thankfully it was all in a bag, but it feels like beads. Okay. And do it right on camera. Oh, it's a mala. Oh my god. It's not just a mala, you guys. It's a knotted mala. So um, to be honest, I've actually never had a full knotted gemstone mala because they're crazy expensive. Um, this is rose quartz and I think these are pearls. I think that's pearl. I'm going to look it up in a second in the book, um, or in the papers. And then that's amethyst for sure. And this is a really nice, okay, you guys. This is freaking stunning. These have to be pearls because they have like an irregular shape. Like look at this one right here. They're not like perfectly round. Oh my God. And the funny thing is if I was ever going to purchase a mala, it would have been a rose quartz mala. And with pearl, are you kidding me right now? <gasps> okay. I'm kind of freaking out freaking out let's put this on you know what I'm gonna go around again let's just see why not let's do that have to have it 
on me right now. <clears throat> so this explains why there's no separate crystal because we got an entire bead necklace of crystals. Are you kidding? What? Sorry, now I'm just like using my camera like a mirror and like playing with my beads. I better have a sip. <clears throat> okay, let's dig in. That was, this is amazing. Ah, empowerment and manifestation necklace. We are so thrilled to have been able to create a custom empowerment and manifestation necklace for this specific collection. Made of rose quartz, amethyst, and freshwater pearls, this beautiful piece holds the energy to bring countless benefits to your daily craft and spiritual experiences. The rose quartz has been chosen for this piece to bring with it unconditional love, acceptance, and forgiveness. The amethyst has been placed as a larger bead as larger beads to alleviate anxiety and impatience during during your mantras and affirmations. Providing a calm and balanced energy, amethyst is a great facilitator of emotional ease during meditation. Among the most revered are the natural freshwater pearls that we were able to include in this piece. <clears throat> Known for their natural properties, pearls have been associated throughout history as providing the wisdom to strengthen, sorry, I'm just playing with the tassel, <laughs> to strengthen and enhance the growth of love from within. These characteristics create a magnet, attracting all that is good towards you. In addition to creating this necklace for manifestation and empowerment purposes, we have followed the anatomy of the mala to bring sacredness and symbolism into your workings. Containing 108 beads is very specific to the mala and was known as the number of existence to the Vedic tradition. <clears throat> Throughout Indian culture, the number 108 resonates with sacred yogic texts as well as the sacred sites. As well as the importance behind the beads, the tassel holds the symbolism of 1,000 lotus petals. <sighs> as you place this necklace in your hand or on your body, um, sorry, start by holding the amethyst above the tassel between your thumb and index finger, and as you pull each bead through your fingers, recite your intended affirmation. As these beads were placed together to bring empowerment, create an affirmation that suits the pressing realities in your world. Oh my god, I'm gonna stop there, but <clears throat> oh my god. Sorry, I keep clearing my throat, but there's that little bit of the cough lingering. So let's talk about the box. Mother of Pearl Shell Box. To accompany your empowerment and manifestation necklace, we have included a mother of pearl shell box. This beautifully crafted box is a great tool to charge items while they are not in use. Mother of pearl is the iridescent inner layer of the shell of oysters and abalones. Bringing with its beauty um, and silent strength comes a gentle healing power brought by the sea. Oh, are you kidding me? Okay, the sigil we got is a passion and a passion enhancement sigil. Ooh, this will go good with my new wanting to make a new oil, like a new sexy oil. Um, so that's exciting. The Aphrodite Book of Shadows artwork, the Amare Twin Spell Candle set. Um, one candle can be placed be beside a picture of someone afar that you wish to connect with or simply used in a love spell fashion. That's kind of cool. Aphrodite Magical Anointing Oil. Let's talk about what's in here, shall we? Uh, it says, we have enchanted this magical oil with jasmine, rose, patchouli, and sweet marjoram oils. Oh, the marjoram was that scent that I said was familiar. So was the patchouli. We've included the herbs of rose, jasmine, hibiscus, and bloodroot as well. Inside your oil, you'll find a Lemurian quartz said to personify oneness into your aura. And it's, there's also a special mixture of our come to me magical oil from our personal cabinet of witchery. And I've heard about the come to me oil actually from other subscribers. So that's really exciting. Attraction incense sticks. Uh, it says that they are patchouli scented. Then we've got our herbs. Where's the salts? Oh, here we go. Lith is sacred salt. I want to see what's in here too. <coughs> Orange, rose, and bergamot. I did good. So I said there was kind of like a citrusy scent. Um, and that floral scent is the bergamot and rose as well. Um, there's also hyssop, lavender, St. John's wort, and hawthorn. We've also included a special mixture of our midsummer magical oil from our personal cabinet of witchery. Amazing, amazing box. Witch's Moon, you knocked it out of the park again. Look at me playing with my new mala. Oh, this is very, very exciting. Okay. I'm going to call it because this video has gotten to be 25 minutes long, but suffice to say that I am very excited and happy with this box. It is 
absolutely worth every penny and more. A mala like this up here in Canada can run you well over $100. And that is more than what I paid for this box. In Canadian, with shipping, everything included. Thank you, Witch's Moon, for another fabulous, fabulous month. Thank you so much for joining me, you guys. If you also get this box, let me know your thoughts in it down below. Was this one of your favorites? If not, which one is your favorite? If you don't get the Witch's Moon, is there something here that like inspired you to dig into your own collection of witchy supplies and put something together or do a working? I'm always curious to see kind of what people get out of watching these videos and what, what how they inspire you or how they, um, you know, get your creative, cre creative? creative juices flowing. <laughs> So with that said, I'm going to sign off for now. Thanks for hanging out with me and I will see you on my next one. Bye.